Hey guys, so I made a few tests and I uh, wanted to tell you that it, it works, okay? So uh, this is a piece of jeans and t-shirt I made for another game. This is obviously a different light game. I had a different type of lighting than the one I'm using here, so it, it's not looking the best, but um, it serves to, to show the purpose. Uh, so several assets here, uh, just there's the mesh asset which is gonna have to be rigged obviously. And then uh, I made the clothing material, the master material, okay? On this master material basically uh, we have three different texture sets which in this case I just changed by putting a heart there and another shape in there uh, but just to show that we could actually have different colored uh, thing and as many as you want really uh, and we can add logos to it directly here or whatever but this would be like the base textures for the color change or type of thing uh, we expose then a parameter here which is exposed and, and can be changed through code uh, which I named the way I, I wanted, so you can name it any way you want, and uh, we multiply them and add them until uh, until we reach the base color. Okay, then we lerp in the masks that we wanna that we wanna add. In this case, there's the blood uh, parameter here that is being uh, masked through this uh, texture here, which has a an alpha channel, which is basically uh, lerping it out and making possible what I'm about to show. Okay, let me just apply this. I don't think it was applied, so this and uh, and yeah uh, the rest are just maps that I'm gonna send to you obviously the the blood uh, also affects the roughness channel so it's also affecting here so there's there's the roughness part that is added that is being loved here and the alpha is the splatter texture I just I just uh, quickly made to, to represent it okay but at, at the end of the day it might seem complex but it's actually a very simple material uh, the end result of, of your characters is obviously going to be a more complex one but this would be the master material okay from there we expose an instance that we can call through code and and, and do stuff this is how the instance works when applied uh, you can see the, the parameters that I've exposed here so basically the, there's the texture default we can change and it, all of these textures so that it looks different uh, and then we just we just mess with these parameters really so if we want blood we would just click one here and the decal would appear okay so uh, true code you can call it and you can also have le different levels of intensity if you want I guess if you, you, you can dim it down and whatever so if there's more blood or whatever but zero and one is what is basically true and false it's like a boolean to to having it on or off uh, as for the textures uh, it's the same logic so one it shows zero it doesn't so if we just put this one to zero put this one to one we are now seeing a complete different uh, texture at runtime and uh, even though it looks the same I just changed a little bit but you can see that uh, it, it kind of works and uh, for the other one as well so if we just uh, zero here one here we have another with a different set of textures and uh, and yeah basically this serves to show that, that it works and that, that it that it changes here at runtime because if I if I'm here, I'm looking at another screen right now. So if I just uh, add the blood, you can see that the blood will come up, and the blood obviously will come. Dirt will come, mud will come, anything we want really. Uh, I can make good masks that go with the UVs of of, of each uh, thing, and uh, and yeah, we can. Obviously, this one is actually uh, mapping not only the the T-shirt but also the roughness channel, so you can see it reflects more. Doesn't really look like. Uh, blood the color or, or anything here right now but we can we can further work this and make it make it as best as we can so this is just a, a proof of concept um, yeah wanted to show you these guys and uh, tell you that this can be done so uh, let me know if this is useful as for the hair I would just suggest we make a socket on the on the heads uh, skeleton bone and uh, we just plug it in like we would plug a, a weapon doesn't really need to be rigged because it's it, the, the top of the head is always going to be fixed so it will go wherever the head will go and if I have the same pivot point at the um, at all the meshes like at zero 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 point uh, it would mean that when we just change the hair or change the mesh in this case which would which include air be it with hat or without uh, it would change at runtime uh, like a weapon would and it would serve the purpose that we want uh, so yeah, in that sense, I would I would just have to do a different mesh for every different type of hair that we want. So if we want long hair, we make long hair. If we want long hair with a cap, I just tweak it and, and put the cap in and then make it fit and uh, and then import a different mesh which we would attach to the socket replacing the one that it's there. 
Uh, hope this helps to illustrate. Let me know if this is what you guys want to do. But this is a, definitely a, a doable way. We don't have, we don't run into trouble like uh, clipping and stuff like that. We will have clipping if, for example, if we have the body underneath this, and I think that's the challenge. Uh, but then that that's the rigging thing and the skinning thing. This T-shirt and and thing needs to be rigged exactly with the same weights and have a very similar topology to the body itself. Because otherwise, when it bends, if we have the body underneath this. Uh, it might show through the t-shirt, it might show through the pants, it might show. So it's very important that the rigging is, is super awesomely done, uh, otherwise it will show through. Uh, the, other, the only other option would be to just me deleting uh, all the, uh, the body parts that are not seen in this way, but, th but th that would mean that each outfit that we put, we actually have a complete new different model, not just replacing the clothing. Uh, I don't know which way you want to go with that, but uh, if we are using a body underneath this, then the rigging and skinning is going to have uh, a barrier to overcome here when it comes to uh, dramatic uh, animations where it will change or whatever. So even ragdoll, if you die or whatever, you just have to take that into consideration. But as for the texture wise and, and, and the ability to change clothes, I think this is pretty well uh, laid out for you guys. Let me know.